Hey, good morning. It's Tuesday. Satellites. What are satellites? Yeah, satellites are things up in space that travel around the planet, right? We all know about these. There's no question what we do and what they do. Not a big deal, eh? Except in some circles. So, Earth Observing Network, Earth Facing Satellite, Earth Facing Sciences. These are satellites in space that are looking at our planet. They are looking at our planet for uh, atmospheric activities. These satellites can now look at the surface of the planet and even under the surface a little bit from space, from hundreds of miles up from satellites circling around that other folks might be debating. Those observing Earth observing satellites, again, they pass as they pass over these calibration stations, and there's a number of them across the planet. The satellite is calibrated based upon those ground instrument readings. So if the ground says it's 60 degrees and the satellite says the ground is measuring 70 degrees, that satellite data can be corrected. Now, this is a huge, huge science. This is not people playing games to confuse people and all of that noise. It's just what has to be done because of instrument stability questions and what they're looking at. So what type of satellites do we have up there? We've got communications. We've got radar satellites. We've got LIDAR satellites. We're looking at the optics and the magnetic and the electromagnetic and all kinds of other particles that get emis emitted all over the place. This is Earth-facing sciences. We have more of these satellites. The military has more of these satellites than we'll ever know about. They're taking pictures of the Earth with, photo with film with normal cameras, they're taking pictures with specialty cameras. All of this is geospatial data with known relationships and a piece on the ground is used to cal calibrate a satellite, you know, miles, miles up in the air that passes over different parts of the planet or is stationary. So that Earth observing network um, has had more than a few names, but NASA basically has one you can go find and for them it's a huge data set of all of the data that they can collect some of which we know about most of which we don't understand so what's this doing it's telling us the weather it's forecasting the weather for farmers across the planet these days it's forecasting the weather it's predicting the weather with supercomputer models based upon super duper bunches of people working on models. A knowledge base, a tower of knowledge specific to an industry, specific to a part of the sciences. So it's fascinating that we calibrate these satellites. We actually calibrate an instrument miles away or certify it. There's some word semantics going on here that depending on where you are, it's either a certification or a calibration. Either way, folks know about it. Folks do it. It's a part of the measurement sciences and accuracy. So there you go. There's a little piece of satellite information and how satellites looking towards Earth are tested, are calibrated, that the data coming off the satellite means something. We also fly aircraft around and do the same thing for altitudes. We'll put up strings of balloons with measurement equipment all the way up the line for temperature and humidity and a number of other things. And that can actually go back and adjust the measurements that we received from a satellite. That's how easy all of this is, right? So why is this interesting we have satellites looking at the energy the materials the matter of stars and even planets light years away and we have all kinds of media about this light years away stuff but this internal facing this earth facing information that is much more important to our immediate future is a secret it's the mineral secrets, where to go mine the latest mineral assets, which is the ocean floor, deep sea mining. I'm not sure what type of radars penetrate from satellites into the ocean. 
I'm not sure if that technology is there, what wavelengths or energies they would have to use for a penetrating ocean radar from space. I don't think it's there yet. We have a hard way, hard time finding submarines still because they've gotten quieter and we've gotten better at it, but still it's not an easy job to find submarines in the ocean because that's two thirds of the planet they have to hide on. But we've got sensors out there doing that. So Earth-facing scientists, what's another one? Go check out all the ocean exploration videos. We are looking at the ocean harder than we ever have. We're looking at it for minerals. We're seeing pretty pictures of fish swimming around down there and some amazing fish, amazing research and the scientists doing that part of it. Underneath that is another side of mineral wealth. Our oceans are going to be harvested. Whether they're going to be raped or not is another good question, but further destroying our ocean ecosystem is not healthy. Yes, it is tied into the Fukushima accident. It is tied into all industrial accidents. It's tied into the decades, the centuries we've been burning coal and that coal ash has been returning back to the sea, back to the land. Good, bad? Well, we know it's it's leans towards bad if there's too much of it. So we learn. Anyway, video a day is what I'm trying for. Hope it helps. Peace out, brothers and sisters. Focus. Stop with the memes.